Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome to episode 2 of Trading to 100,000 Coins on Thief 17 Ultimate Team. Now, in the last episode, which got over 500 likes, so thank you guys so much for the support on that video right there. If we could smash 500 likes on this video, that would be very, very good. If you guys haven't checked out the first episode, just pause this one, go and check out the annotation in the top right corner of the video, and go and check out the first episode. But... As I was saying, you guys were saying in the first video, in the comment section, to do longer episodes of this series. So that's what I've got for you guys today. This episode is actually around 7 minutes long, and the series and the episodes are just going to get longer and longer, because I'll have more and more coins, I'll be able to use more methods and get more players, and just bring you guys more content in the series, so it is going to get better and better over time. And if you guys do want to see the next episode come out in the next two days, then smash 500 likes on the video. As I said in the first video, the more likes this series gets, the more I know that you guys want to see it, and the more often I will upload it. But you guys can see in the background right here, we start off by picking up a few uh, Liganos Silver players. This was using the Liganos Silver Sniping Method, which I covered in the last video. And as I said, if you guys haven't checked out, I definitely would recommend it before watching this one. We managed to gain Martin Braithwaite, though, for 1,000 coins in Hunter, and list him up for 2.5. An Albrighton in Catalyst for 5. We list him up for 750 and a cruise converted down to attacking midfield uh, for 1.5 list him up for 2,000 coins as you guys can see the majority of those cars actually sold on within just a couple of minutes And that left me with a good amount of coins to then go and get a few more players and with this Braithwaite We actually managed to make one and a half thousand coins profit, which is very very good That's the best deal so far that we have got in the series and with those coins I went and got a Jovicic the brand new transfer at Sevilla got him as a center mid for 2,000 coins and list him up for 2.4 also managing myself at Aguayu right here. He is the right forward from Borussia Dortmund. Pretty good stats. He's a default right mid, and we got him as a right forward for 400 coins. That is a very, very good deal, and I list him up for around 1,000. Also got a Searchy in right forward. 650 coins. List him up for 1.9. That would be some great profit if he does sell on. And also in Kudu from Tottenham. In Hunter, we gone for 1.2k. We were able to snipe him, and I do list him up for 1.9k. That should be some nice profit. As you guys can see here, managed to sell on all of the players, and uh, I just list them up overnight for one day and all of them sold when I came back in the morning and we were at 9,000 coins so I more than doubled my coins since the last episode I had around 4,000 coins to start off I went and picked up a load of players and yeah you guys can see we've actually managed to get a really really good amount of coins I do have some more deals though to show you guys as well because as I said you guys did say that you wanted to see longer episodes of the series and that's exactly what I've got for you guys today so the next batch of deals we went and got an Orban as the first player he's a centre back from RB Leipzig and we got him for 600 coins and list him up for 1000 which is not too bad there for one day I also managed to pick up an Aluko converted striker for 500 coins really really good deal he's a default centre forward and we list him up for 1.2k I managed to get a Matt Phillips converted to right forward from right mid for 1.5 list him up for 1.9 another right forward deal was Salib got him for 900 list him up for 1.2k there also managed to get a Moses Simon right here 1,000 coins in striker list him up for 1.9 really really good deal there and a Luco, another one right here get, got a lot of deals with him got him for 700 coins in striker list him up for 1,000 I also managed to get myself a Jesus Navas right here for 950 coins in Catalyst list him up for just over a thousand Bruno Enrique from Wolfsburg yeah, and for 400 coins in right forward really really good deal list him up for 950 more than doubling my coins on him if he does sell on I also managed to get myself a Carlos Fair for 1,000 coins in right forward. List him up for 1.3 and finally a Mangala in shadow for 1.3k and I actually list him up for 2.3. That will be some great profit if you do sell on. And as you guys can see here, overnight again I managed to sell on all of the players. And as you guys can see that leaves me with 13,565 coins which is not too bad at all especially considering we started with just over 4,000. So I more than tripled my coins in this episode without actually picking up that many deals. I only spent around about 15 minutes. It's picking up each patch of deals. I just list them up overnight and they were very very quick and easy to sell on and the methods that I was using in this video were really really effective and very very easy and I'll show you guys them in just a minute but we made some great profit on those deals right there and let's go on into the trading method I was using now it's a method I used a lot last year and basically what you want to do is put the maximum buy now to around 1.5k and you want to go through left forward right forward hunter catalyst and shadow so we start off with left forward you just want to keep going through and uh, yeah eventually a card will pop up so you want to go uh, look at left forwards if there aren't any left forward deals go to right forward and you just want to go through to the 59th minute that's where you will see the majority of the deals often there are going to be cards listed up for maybe a couple hundred coins like you saw with some of those players that I was getting in right and left forward for maybe like four or five hundred coins you get a lot of deals there then you want to go into shadow you want to again go to the 59th minute that's where I was getting players like Mangala you can press Y and B to go to your transfer targets and back to see if any cards do pop up in the 59th minute however what I do is just go through with every single filter 
just so that I can really kind of cover everything and see as soon as any deals do get listed up, I can uh, hopefully go and pick them up so you guys can see here with catalyst again i'm just going to the 15th minute and with catalyst you normally have a few more cards on the market as it's one of the cheaper chemistry cells out of the three expensive ones but as you see here you just want to go to the 15th minute and normally there's going to be a deal or two that you could potentially pick up and uh, yeah especially around about the 15th minute that's where they're normally there However, you can actually get a few deals on bid as well if you just keep an eye on some of the lower prices. Hunter, normally you're not going to have cards coming up all the time, so you will actually have to try and snipe them. But also, I wasn't only getting those players using that particular filter. You guys will have seen me getting some players in some different positions. I was using a method that I did a couple of days ago in a video. I'll leave an annotation in the top right corner of the video if you want to go and check that out. That is for the gold players. But for the silvers, I was just going through popular pacey silver players who were sent forwards. So I used a Luco and Simon as my two main players. And then I just looked them up in attacking midfield, in centre mid, in CDM and in striker. And that's where I got all these deals. And yeah, you just want to keep going through. You can do it with players like Forestieri as well. Even players like Ian Acho, just a really good silver players. Just look them up in other positions and very often you're going to be able to get some good deals on them. And Aluka was a great one, especially in striker. Uh, but I have seen some very, very good deals. For example, in centre mid, where he goes for about three and a half k. I've seen cards being listed up and going for just a couple hundred coins. So you can get some really, really good deals with this method. It really is just a, such an easy method. You just go through, and there are deals that are often on the market for a long time with no one picking them up. I mean, right now, on Aluka has been on the market for around 15 minutes, and no one's bought him yet. He's going for a lot cheaper than any of the others. So actually went and picked that one up. You will see me selling one in the next episode. But there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like. 500 likes would be awesome. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care.